Hey everyone, it's Joanne here, and we're going to get right into this video because we have a lot to cover, cover, and this is going to be split up into two different videos. The first video is going to be an overview of how I, the theory behind and why I use uh, Evernote for my task management. It's been a very, very popular request. Uh, people keep on asking me to, to do a video on this. So I finally decided to bite the bullet and just record the video. So the first is gonna be me just going through the theory behind it all. And then the second video I'm gonna do is gonna actually show you some specific examples of how I actually use it and work it between you know using my phone and using the, the other elements of Evernote for my task management. So we're gonna get right to it. So first of all, for my task management, I follow the system of GTD. And if you're not familiar with GTD, that is called, it stands for Getting Things Done. And it is a book that was uh, written by David Allen. So if you're not familiar with it, head on over to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever you get your books and download it on your phone, on your Kindle, uh, go buy it in the store, go to the library, see if you can find it. I don't care what you do. Uh, it's great. It's a great read. Not that expensive of a book. Probably, I don't know, I'm going to guess under probably around 10 bucks. Uh, for a hard copy of it. It's not that expensive. Uh, but the getting things done is basically a theory of how to be able to keep to, to have your task management and be able to maintain it and keep things organized. Uh, GTD is a methodology. It's not necessarily an application. So you can use the GTD method with many different types of task management uh, softwares, uh, you know, in processes, for example, I know people that do this uh, manually, that do it with piece, that do it with paper. I know people that do it with fold with a folder system, seen online, where people do it in software such as Trello. So there's other task management softwares that are out there. I'm not saying that this is the only solution to it, but this is a way that you can set up GTD, the, this methodology, using Evernote. So. Why is Joanne using Evernote? Well, I'm going to tell you, and that's what that's what the basic of, basis of this whole first video is about. I use Evernote because it is simple. Also, because I use Evernote for so many other things. I am trying not to have an application for each different type of thing that I need to accomplish in my business and in my personal life. I know there isn't a be all end all app, but you know what, Evernote per comes pretty damn close to it. For example, I do not have a CRM software. I know, it, that's crazy. I keep it simple. I, if I get a business card from somebody, I snap a picture of it with my phone, I send it to Evernote, I tag it that it's a business card, and that's it, that's all I have to do. If I, and that, that's my Rolodex, okay? If I want any more information, I can type in other additional information on that little note that, get, that got sent to Evernote. I, again, it's, you know, I keep things simple. I originally started using Evernote just to keep track of things that I wanted to, uh, like a reference cabinet, okay? I have uh, something that came in the mail and I didn't want to hang on to that piece of paper, so I would take a picture of it, make it a PDF, and I would send it to Evernote, and then I could just throw away that piece of paper. I know it's in Evernote. I know I can always access it. So that's what I originally started using Evernote, and then I came across GTD, started working with that and then I also figured well if I'm doing this then the next step is I can even do I keep my receipts in Evernote now guys so I scan I scan my receipts if they're coming in the mail if they're a piece of paper I scan them or I stamp a picture of them and turn them to a PDF and I send them to Evernote and I tag them to my reference cabinet and I tag them as a business receipt and for what year the business receipt is for. That's it. That is my filing system. Anything that got that got scanned or got a picture of, it gets stamped scanned. I have one black box that says 2015 scanned. 
all of my all of my receipts, personal and business, get stuck inside that box because I don't like to shred and throw things away. And I will keep that box in in my filing area, you know, just for an emergency. So I have that ability to do that inside of Evernote, and it is so easily to be able to retrieve information. Now, retrieving information and searching inside of Evernote is amazing if you purchase the Premier version of the software. The Premier version of the software, the pre, I'm sorry, the premium version of the software, which I believe is between $65 to $69 a year, that offers you the ability to whenever you take a picture, whenever you make a PDF and you put it into Evernote, if you write a if you write on a piece of paper, if you type a text note and you put it inside of Evernote, Evernote converts it using OCR software and makes everything searchable. So for example, if I bought something at Amazon, if I bought a printer on Amazon, I could search in Evernote for Amazon and then the word printer, and it would find me a note that has the word Amazon and printer inside of it, and all those options would show. So, and, and I can do that on my phone. Like I don't even have to have my computer. I don't have to. F I don't have to thumb through a filing system. I basically have my whole entire filing system accessible to me on my phone, on my tablet, on my Mac, on my anywhere. Again, across all pa platforms. That is why I love Evernote. Now, this may not be for all businesses. This may not be for for all situations. But for me, for the size of my practice. Which, it's, which is an accounting practice here in upstate New York. I have two employees, so I do use Evernote Premier to share notebooks and delegate tasks to my employees. I also can manage my home to-dos, my home reference cabinet, and my work to-dos and my work reference cabinet all inside of one Evernote file using notebooks and using a tagging system. So that is just kind of the overview as to why I personally use Evernote and why I don't really ever see the need to look at other options because Evernote works for me. It's simple. It's $60 a year. I'm already using it for other functions. So why not still use that capability to be able to, um, well, why don't we? Why don't why don't I harness that capability of Evernote to be able to use it for other for other purposes? And so, the the summary of the GTD is this, guys. G using GTD in Evernote, I would have never thought to do that, except for I started searching for it on the internet, and I came across a website. And this website is called The Secret Weapon. So, if you have not read. GTD, Getting Things Done by David Allen. Please go to thesecretweapon.org and watch those videos. These videos will show you how to actually set up your Evernote using the GTD methodology. It explains what the methodology is and also puts you in the right mindset and it shows you how to, so it goes through installing Evernote if you never have, prepping your Evernote for the secret weapon, and then it goes through the whole purpose, the whole way of using it, in using GTD inside of Evernote. So it is an amazing, amazing resource. They have forums, you know, there's a ton of information on this website. Now, in summary, the GTD wants you to do this, okay? You get your cues of what you need to do in life, for your business, for personal, from all different kinds of sources, okay? You get them via email. You get them via verbal communication. You get them from voicemails. You get them from snail mail. You get a, something in the get something in the mail from a client. Can you please review this uh, letter? Got something in the mail from a client or from a vendor. Can you please pay this bill? You know, can you please review this? So you're getting things in snail mail. You're also getting, 
you know, we talked about, and for like, for example, like the verbal cues, it could not be necessarily on the phone, but it could be somebody in the other office comes in to see you and says, can you do this? It could be you have a client meeting and you're talking to somebody and they say, we need you to do this, this, and this. So now you've just had three more things that are on your to-do list. So how do you immediately get them into a system so that you don't forget them, that you're able to prioritize them, and then you can let your mind relax that you're not going to forget anything. That's what the GTD method does inside of Evernote. So all these different formats, right? You get a voicemail. How do you, how do you get the voicemail into your to-do list? right? That's the problem is a lot of people use their mailbox or email box for their t task management. And you can't do that because if you get a voicemail from somebody that asked you to do something, how do you get that in your task management in your email system? You don't. What I do is I add a note to my Evernote and, and give myself direction as to what I need to do with it, the priority of it, list any deadlines, any other information I need, boom, and now it's in my system. Oh, the last thing where um, to-dos come from is, and this is, this is the most important one, is internal, okay? Joanne, every night before she goes to bed, does a brain dump. So I do a brain dump, whether it's in my paper planner or it's inside my Evernote, and I just dump everything that I want to accomplish or that I want to do that I'm afraid may not be in my Evernote. I dump that into my uh, planner, and then I put it into Evernote because those become now new tasks and new to-dos that need to be delegated and prioritized. So that's, that's kind of the end of this video, kind of the recap as to why I'm so excited and why I absolutely love Evernote. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, uh, yeah, leave a, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And uh, I look forward to talking to you, talking to you, talking at you in my next video, which is going to be actually walking through my uh, demo Evernote so I can show you the specifics as to how I use it for GTD. See you guys.